Hi and welcome to another Wednesday with Vilna. So today and the next four weeks is super special to me because um, I created four extra layouts when I did my 16 ways to show love workshop and I'm going to sh share them here on my blog and this workshop is coming out uh, on Sunday um, January 16 2016 16 ways to show love so it's absolutely I'm just bursting with excitement so excited to show you this workshop so I want to um share with you one layout and the reason why I picked this layout to put to be on my blog I just created 20 layouts and then I decided that four of those will come onto my blog and the reason why I picked this one is because um, for some reason it didn't fall into a category I have certain amount of um, chapters or um, on my you know on in the classroom where I discuss techniques and this one didn't match in any of those really well so I decided let me share it on my blog this is sort of the extra layout the other three layouts that I will be sharing with you over the next three four weeks um, come from will fit into a specific category but this one does not I created the most beautiful products for this class you can see there's one flourish just lying next to the water that I just placed down and um, there's m so much um, beauty, um, beautiful things that I created for this class that I couldn't wait to use them on my pages. And I really believe that they do, we, when you create with beautiful products, it really helps you to make beautiful pages. And so I'm just so excited. Okay, so the layout we're going to be making today and I'm going to show you the background. First, we're going to paint it with acrylic paint. And it was inspired by this palette. Do you see on the left-hand side of the screen, there's a little paper plate with um, paint on it. And I was using that to paint something else. And I thought to myself, wow, I wish I could recreate that. So on the left hand, I'm trying to recreate the palette. And then I'm just going to paint it on the right hand. And the layout we're going to make actually came from the right hand page. But I do use the left hand background in one of the class um, pages, I think. I think. I have a very short memory and I'm blonde. So I don't know. I can't remember. Let me just check. I'm back and I checked. And I actually do use it. But on the last blog layout. I picked that one for my blog. Okay, so you can see I'm using Liquitex paint in light pink, magenta, red and white. And I'm just going to mix the paint and I'm just painting on the other side where I'm painting now. And I really thought that the paint I'm just placing rapidly on the right side. I'm just going to throw that paper away. But when it was dry, I loved it. I really do. So... Uh, just painting randomly and I want to recreate this palette effect you know so in a way I'm narrating the last layout um, I'm just maybe I <laughs> just have to use this segment for the last layout as well because it it's pretty much the the same idea you know recreating two backgrounds at the same time but don't worry I'll use this footage but I'll come up with something different to say so you can see um, it's just playing with paint really that's all it is and make sure that your water is nice and clean because otherwise you you'll get murky and and dirty paint and that's really not I don't like that I love freshness I love the fresh colors and everything so I just painted and now I'm done and I'm going to, um, yeah, maybe paint a little bit more. <laughs> so let me tell you about this workshop and then I'll quickly show you the promotional video. Um, it's 16 techniques, 16 of my very favorite techniques, scrapbooking and art techniques that I love to use on pages. And we're going to use them to make pages all about love. So it comes out in time for Valentine, but this is really not 
only a Valentine thing. It's a year-round thing. So even if you don't want to purchase it for Valentine, just maybe you can enroll to make layouts of love. And I love this time of year because all, all the companies br brings out this magical product that I absolutely adore. But here's the promotional video. And then once it's done, I'll come back and I'll finish the layout. I just love it so much. I've watched it probably a million times. Anyway, um, okay, so there's the painting done and now I'm just going to finish the layout. So I'm adding adhesives to my paper, um, photograph and I'm placing it so you can see there's no paint on top of the photo and that to me is just to give it some quiet, you know, just to have that balance between busy painting and then just this quiet um, background. And I'm adding photo corners and that's really more just for um, a finished look than anything else. You can use any color paint. You don't have to use the pinks and reds, you know, um, you can use blues or greens. It's up to you. And I think, but I think the technique is quite interesting. So I did a couple of cuts with uh, flourishes. Um, from iArt Studio, these, I have a flourish cut and I just used that cut file and now I'm just going to add a couple of these flourishes and I just did it in white because I want something that is very, um, very calm, you know, because the, the illustration I'm adding right now, the flurry, you know, the little bouquet that says I love you more is busy. The background is busy. So I just wanted something that is calm and and just adds a little bit of, I don't know, flourish or texture to it. And now I'm going to start adding my my embellishments. So it's going to be layered upon layer upon layer and that's exactly how I just absolutely love embellishment it's this cluster I call it an embellishment cluster so for this I thought of adding a second sticker just because the first one is not very it's a little transparent <laughs> that didn't work obviously but then I decided just to cover it with lots and lots of embellishments so the embellishment clusters are probably one of my favorite techniques to use and I should have had another um, chapter in this workshop just for embellishment clusters but then again every page would have fit into that category as well because on every page whether the the theme was um, text or um, stripes or um, tags you know I would do an embellishment cluster so that that is sort of like the the river that runs through it all, you know, the, I absolutely love and adore the Crate Paper Love Collection and these chipboards and I bought probably four of these chipboard sheets and I think I used up two of them in the class alone. So for me, this class is absolutely a a joy. I can use as much pink as I want to. I had these beautiful photos of Tia and Kirsten that I took in the f in the snow. Um, we had a whole frost day in Prince Albert in December and I just said to them, get dressed, let's do a photo shoot. And it was absolutely magical. And um, what the serendipity of these white photos was, 
that there was lots of space to write on it. And you'll see when I show you the little video segment of the final page, the finished, complete finished page that I actually journaled on the photo itself. And that was a wonderful little serendipity for me. I didn't even think about it when I was doing the photos. So those little hearts that I'm placing now is, um, is I think by Pink Paisley. I'll just do all the products and the related products on my blog. So just go to vilnafirstenbook.com and to this post on um, January 13. And you will find all the related products there. I will list everything. And if you miss anything that I list, just leave me a comment. I also want to say that I'm giving away a spot in my class uh, on my blog on January 12th um, blog post. So just go and leave me a comment there or on the YouTube promo video. Um, I'll pick a um someone from the YouTube comments and from my blog. So I'm giving away two spots in. So there you can see just adding a tiny bit of embellishments here and there. It just adds to the flourish that I created for this class. And that's it that I'm done. Now I'm going to mount my page. And one of my favorite backgrounds to use, I've probably used it on six or seven or eight layouts is the wonder paper by craft paper it's the wonder collection has this paper with the, it's a cream colored background with tiny um triangles and what i love about it is the fact that it's understated but the just the tiny bit of texture so there you can see here's the page all done but not quite done if you know what i mean and then in in a second, I'll show you just a, a video shot of the layout with the journaling. So you can see. And I, I must say, um, there's not one page that I made for this workshop or 16 of them, plus the ones on my blog that I didn't absolutely love. And I'm very, very happy with it. I'm so grateful that it came together so beautifully. And I hope to see you in the workshop. So see you next Wednesday with another video um, and, a, and a love layout. Bye-bye.